serve us. So we've got a walk? Ah, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. <sighs> right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go. You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? <laughs> Oops, didn't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure, you can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant, tyrant! Tifa, tell me your secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. Think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia... I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and stop the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. Again? Well, look who it is. <clears throat> you here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon, and then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here...
Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas. Organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> Oh, what I wouldn't give to feel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu-Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me.
Yeah? Let me in. Um, Elmira? Zack, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith, but if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith, uh... Yes, I know. Huh? Aerith! She okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? Yes. What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. Okay? 
Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd Recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises, and... no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry... That's it. The Corbell reactor. Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. Hmm. Well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <sighs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They've been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock. His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but, why the interim? Because, once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! Like, all that stuff down there is Mako? Yep. Then, it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary! Creatures set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? We'll keep moving. Hey! Not cool! This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon! <laughs>
meaning. Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra is not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is, and talking won't stop him. For now, can't cross till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. <gasps> nah, we're working on it. Just wait a minute. Perhaps the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining helmets and follow me. Which way? Up. 
with that thing. But we're gonna have to power it on first. The generator's just across the way. Gotta use that grappling hook. Shouldn't be a problem for you, right? <laughs> None at all.
here. Or not. <clears throat> what the? <laughs> Leave me alone. <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> Someone has a fan. Uh, no fair. <sighs> Got enough hangers on already, but fine. <laughs> hey, hey, hmm? check out its head. Does it remind you of anyone? It's Cloud, only cute. <laughs> that settles it. I hereby dub thee Cloud Junior. <laughs> We could take that minecart down. Save ourselves a hike. Not the smoothest ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to. <sighs> Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. Buttons ought to do it. Uh, which one? Hmm. Yeah, I got this. Uh. First that, then. Now that the bridge is good to go, let's touch base with the others. Roger. Hello, hello. This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How are you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll take a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, and set our route while you're at it, will you? The gentler the ride, the better. Don't want anyone losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? You ready? I'll show you what I can do. <laughs> Going in.
should be able to switch the track here. Do you think the others are gonna be okay? These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. Your pads, right? Except that mine can discern <laughs> far more than any. So, yeah. This looks like the spot. Let's call him up. Tell him we're here. Cloud! What's our route looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? <sighs> Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through. So buckle up, Buttercup. It's fine. It's just a cart. It can't kill you.
You okay? <sighs> uh, better than I thought, actually. Guess Cloud didn't feel like completely screwing us over. What a letdown. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? <laughs> Think of them as a tag along. <laughs> Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Jr. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Junior. Kill me. <laughs> Didn't even get to say goodbye. At least we know he's with family now. Looking forward to this. Your homecoming? You'll see. Who it is. Mm -hmm. The great Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Mm -hmm. Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> To the wise, stay far away from that asshole. Now, where'd our buddies in black get to? 